KARK 4 News at 1230. Welcome back. Our friend Chef Serge is in the studio. We talked about steak earlier. Now we're making it. We I'm are excited. making it right now. I got a shoulder tender. It's a really neat, a nice mm. lean cut. Okay. And this was uh, actually one of those uh, dishes that came to me because I used to not make it very often because I always got the grapes. It's, it's got a nice little grape mm -hmm. uh, sauce with the wine. And uh, all of a sudden I saw one of the chefs put raisins instead because you used to have to roast them for hours at a time. So I put some raisins. I soaked them in a little bit of wine to try for about 30 minutes before you start cooking. And then I get to the uh, steak, a little okay. bit of salt. This is very simple. A little bit of salt on both sides. And the biggest thing is, is to go ahead and go ahead and I crack these. As you can see, it's a very, very thick crack, you know, uh, mm -hmm. peppercorns and very lightly cracked. And I, you know, I want the heat heat out of it to actually be and yeah. we got a hot pan oh, we see the smoke sizzle. so we are ready to go while we're going going ahead and grilling it we put it in the uh, really really nice thick thick pan to try to get a real good mm. sear I'm adding a little bit more oil so that it gets gets hot real quickly and cook a little bit faster eh. There My fun of fire went out. That's what happened. Oh, no. <laughs> Everything's good now. It's all yes, working. it is. And while this is cooking, basically you want to uh, sear every single side of it. And after that, put it in the oven for about five, six minutes. Okay. Uh, give it a good sear on the outside for medium rare to medium, about five, six minutes. And, and it's ready to go. While we're waiting on that, we're going to make the sauce. Like I said, I had soaked all this, these raisins in the wine. We go ahead and put those in there. And we try to reduce the wine in half. And that takes time, as you know, it does take a little bit of time mm -hmm. on, but we're, we're speeding things up. All I do is put one one or two little, let's go ahead and put two garlics. Okay. And guess what? We like garlic. Yes, we and do. And after that, we're going to put a little bit of thyme in there. And we're just going to let, let it start reducing. One, when it reduces, it mm -hmm. gets rid of the alcohol and it really makes, makes a, a really, really nice, strong uh, flavor. You got the sweetness of the, of the raisins and there we go. As you oh can see, boy, it's that's getting, looking good. That's looking really, really good. It's already getting there real quickly. Um, you got the sweetness of the raisins, and with with the uh, with, with with the wine, it balances mm. it real well. And also, you got a lot of heat in the cracked pepper, so it it's really gives it a very delicious. good balance. So, how long are we talking reducing? Two, here? three minutes, okay. and then we add a little bit of veal stock to it. And again, you're going to wait another two, three minutes to try to get it to reduce a little bit. Okay. And one, once it does, uh, you put a little bit of butter right there in the back, right there in the end. One, two, three, four pieces and gently put them in small. It's got to be at room temperature okay. so that you can incorporate it into the sauce itself. Mm. And when you do, I'm going to go ahead and stir it up real gently. Uh, once you get it all incorporated, and it's going to take, like I said, it takes a couple of seconds. It's beautiful too. Oh, so it colorful. is. It's one of this is this is this is all of a sudden a simple dish. What mm -hmm. used to be so complicated, and as you can see, it's getting done. And once we get Voila. it all together, right there is the end product. Okay, let's take a look at that. I'm going to hold it up so you can see just how beautiful the dish is. Looks absolutely amazing. Re Perfect for really, Valentine's Day. Yes, it is. You now have two very good options and they're really not difficult. That's the best part. And you will wow your loved ones. Yeah, you surely will. That's and the best. And Valentine's Day, I believe, is on a Friday this year. Is that it right? It is. Oh, boy. Cooking all day. Thank we you are. so much, Chef Serge. <laughs> go see you. them. They're wonderful. And the recipes will both be on our website. We're back with the dial after this.